Hey, yo! So look, man. Not too long ago, I was having a talk with a few co-workers. And, uh, you know, we had some good points in this conversation. And we had some points that, you know, I'd rather not talk about. But the basis is, the, the, the thesis that I was saying is that we need to bring the casual card back. Another guy was saying you don't need the casual card to qualify or you don't need a union card to qualify. But we finna get right into all of that in this video. So let's get to it. I guess we'll start off by asking the question, what is a casual card? Okay. So you came out to your local ILA union hall and you decided you want to work there. But you're not sure if you want to go all in, balls to the wall and pay $1,500. Well, certain times they have something called a casual card which the casual card is $200. You pay this $200 annually, and the $200 you pay in that fiscal year for the casual card, the, those same $200 apply towards your union card, right? Cool, dandy. Um, Now, right now, we aren't doing the casual card at my local, so it's either you come there and you work with your twig badge and you know you use a piece of paper to check on or you come out there and you pay the $1,500 and you get a union card to check on with now I understand not everybody see the vision of working out there and understand that it's an investment to come out there and start working as far as paying you $1,500 for a union card but at the same time you got people that's just trying to, you know, make a few dollars on for, you know, make a few dollars. But they're not paying that $1,500, but they still going to work. Because some every now and then, I'm not saying this going to happen once a week or twice a month or whatever. But every now and then, there's so much work to where they'll pull people that don't have a union card that are just checking on with said piece of paper. And, you know, they'll let them go work. It doesn't happen all the time, but, you know, sometimes it'll it'll happen like that. But I'm, what I'm saying is if there was a casual card, then there would be more people in there able to go to work instead of people, everybody trying to check on with the paper. Because all in, in that category of register longshoremen, you got a few people with cards and you got a lot of people with the paper. And the people with the cars, they gonna be able to get the jobs if before the people with the paper, is what I'm saying. So what I, basically I'm saying it's a higher percentage that you would move advance as far as getting more hours and you know maybe get enough hours to qualify with you know qualifying this hitting 700 hours because we talked about that qualify out of the category of registered longshoreman. Now it's been done before to qualify straight out of register. But you know, a lot of people, they, you know, they go from register on Sherman to group three to group two to qualify. You know, some people, it don't take that long. You know, it all depends on your work ethic and how the work it is at the same time, you know. But the guy was saying, you don't need a casual car or you don't have to pay the $1,500 to get a union car in order to qualify. People have done it before. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. People have done it before, but the thing is, it don't happen that often like that, you know? But his thing is, another one of his arguments was that if two people are in registered longshoreman, person A doesn't have a union card, they just using the paper, and person B has a union card. What he's saying is, if they both get enough hours to go into group four or group three, two or whatever, but even though this person has their union card and this person does not, they'll both be put into the same category. For that, yeah, I understand. That's true. That's true. So, dang. Now that got me questioning. Now that got me questioning. Do we really need the casual card? Huh? That's crazy. Now my thing is if, I don't think if they both go into the same category that the person without, that was checking on with the paper, I don't think you'll be checking on with the paper anymore. 
I think they'd be checking on with a union card because they got enough hours to, you know, not really gain a letter of seniority, but they've gained enough hours to get into a, a group and get out of register on showman. So dang, maybe he maybe he had a point. I don't know. That's up for y'all to debate. I personally believe that we should bring the casual card back. But you know, that's that's just what I think. Uh, feel free to discuss it in the comments down below if y'all think, you know, the casual car was a good thing. Or, you know, we got people from other locals on here as well, which their local might not have never did the casual car. So, I'm not sure. But that's how it was at my local. We had a casual car for a little bit. And, uh, well, for a while, from what I'm hearing, hearing from what I'm hearing, we had a casual car for a little minute. Uh, some people bought into it. I was one of the people that bought a casual card. I bought two casual cards actually, and then I qualified. But I'm not finna tuck your heads off any longer. I'ma catch you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Adam slide, make the beat slide.